Hi guys, um, today I would like to review or talk about this camera I just bought from um, AliExpress. So the, the price is about 40 US dollar. So um, this is an um, IP camera. So they've got three options here. So this one is actually um, UK U, for UK plug, US plug, and uh, Dodge plug. I think for Europe. Well, they come with um, um, power supply, twelve volt for su power supply, and the most important thing why I buy this IP camera instead of the others because the ability to support e wheeling. So my intention is actually at the beginning to to use this camera as part of my motion sensor, right? Um, instead of having PIR, so um, I would like to use this IP camera as my motion sensor so that I don't have to buy PIR sensor anymore, right? So I've got two. I've got, uh, 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 my intention is to to get an image. And use this as a motion sensor, motion sensor to trigger my um, uh, lights, or to do any scene that uh, or I have TT in the uh, e-wheeling. That is my intention. Right? We can go through this. Um, actually, there are. I found out there are three types of um, camera, that are IP camera that um, can be connected to e-wheeling. One is this one, um, and another one, uh, another two is the PTZ. One is produced um, by Sonoff, and if you go to Sonoff uh, IT website, you can see uh, there is a PTZ camera or IP camera that uh, is selling in their website. And another one is the third party um, camera, it's also PTZ camera um, that can be linked up with um, e wheeling. Right. The reason why I choose this one is because it says that it is waterproof, so it is suitable for uh, out outdoor usage. Yeah. Right. So it has um, all the function that uh, come with um, the indoor uh, IP camera uh, that's sold on their website, except it is this one is waterproof. And it is not PTZ, so I have to sacrifice the PTZ function. Right? Apart from that, they are the same. So it can be connected to um, through LAN or through Wi Fi. Right? So this is the specification for the camera it, is, it has um, 2 megapixel CMOS. And it is capable to um, record on um, micro SD or TF card. So it support up to two, 128 um, uh, size of the uh, micro SD. And that's it. This is the size of dimension of the camera. Well, I've got the camera now with me. Uh, I will show you later, right? So yeah, it got two um no four IRLM. Uh, one reset button, network cable, and also power cable, right? In their website also, um, they mention on how to pair this the the camera with the e wheeling apps. I follow step by step. In very straightforward, you just uh press this. Um, add device on your apps and use this sound pairing um, option and then it will automatically um, detect uh, you press this pairing uh, when you when you heard uh, the pairing uh, sounds or noise uh, it will automatically pair I'm not using um, Wi-Fi, so I, I didn't have this step. So I'm using LAN. I would like to use LAN because it is more stable than Wi-Fi. I think so. So I cannot comment on Wi-Fi uh, connection on this camera. So that's it. 
So after you finish this step, it will autom automatically um, pet um, with the e-wheeling apps. Right. So this is the camera or the IP camera. So it does come with. This is the camera, and it does come with the stand and the power supply. But in this um, uh, setup, I didn't use this power supply because, as I mentioned last time, I've got this um, this unit or splitter with, um, that I've been using for all my CCTV setup. Since I'm using um, PoE switch, so I can connect this um, splitter and produce its own uh, power uh, to the camera. So why I'm using it is because it is much easier for me so that I just uh, using um, the network cable to power up the camera so I don't have to use a separate power supply. Easy and also neat for the wiring. So right. So what we have here, so I put it aside. So we've got this um, RJ45 connection or LAN for the LAN connection. This is, uh, if you open this, you've got one button here to reset the camera. So I don't need this. And this is power supply, right? Right? Um, so I already connected uh, my camera using uh, the splitter, right? So it's, now it's already powered up. And we'll see first on the uh, quality or the image of the camera. Right, you can see that it is not bad. It is not the best that I've ever owned, but this is not bad, yeah. And this clear as well. You can read a lot of things, but as I told you, this is not the best, but yeah. Right, so what we can do with the camera, hmm. we can see that this is LAN, I'm using LAN right now, and the, the connection, uh, sometimes it is a bit jerky or lagging, uh, I think it is because of the, the camera frame, it's only uh, about 10 frames per second, I don't know if I change it to F, uh, HD, is that going to be better? Well, it's not. Uh, it's still uh, about ten uh, frame per second. So, yeah. But unfortunately, um, uh, well, okay. Before I go there, uh, right. So this is the option or setting that we can do for the camera. Uh, it can do um, local record. I'll show you there is a compartment uh, at the bottom of this camera uh, that we can install uh, micro SD or SD card um, or, or TF card they call it right and we can also set motion detection so that means if the camera detect any motion and it will give you um, a, a trigger you a message um, to your apps saying that there is a motion detection right uh, what else um, well this camera is not compatible with on with if you plan to record this camera uh, to your DVR or MVR no you you absolutely cannot using this camera you cannot use this camera to record it to your uh, DVR by using on with protocol um, but under more setting, you can use RTSP if your camera of uh, DVR support that RTSP. Well, my DVR didn't support the RTSP, so it is useless for me. Uh, yeah, you can restart the camera remotely using this uh, option. What else you can do? 
under this also you can set a uh, sound alert that means uh, if they triggered any motion the, the camera will uh, sound alarm so I, I don't want this option so I turn off this sound alert it's really annoying for me okay what else right we can take snapshot um, record the video and do uh, dual communication that means we can uh, send a voice message or to, uh, to the camera like the other IP camera I think most of them have the same function like this so we can have a dual conversation between the camera and also um, our phone or our, our apps right um, well this is for ptz function we don't this is not ptz so this option is not available here um, right so my intention in the first place when i bought this camera is to do um, um scene when the motion when they the, the the camera detect the motion and it will trigger my lighting okay but however if I try to add, let's say, um, the condition here, I would like to, to set it, what is the device? So I cannot find the camera. So under this this uh, device selection, so I cannot find the camera, right? So that means I think um, I cannot use camera as um, a motion uh, signal uh, to trigger my. Uh, scene or IFTT scene in the that available in the um, in the EV link right uh, so I'm a bit disappointed because um, the reason I buy this instead of buying the on uh, uh, support uh, the, 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 the IP camera that support on -vif. so the reason I buy this is because to to have this function but unfortunately this camera didn't support IFTT that uh, the function of IFTT, IFTT that available in the um, EV link. So I hope that there is um, some improvement on the next firmware so that it is available for the camera uh, also as part of the trigger um, device that can do some uh, uh, action. Right? Let's say um, there is a um, motion that detect on this camera it will trigger my light so it will switch on the light but uh, this couldn't happen because this camera actually didn't support that right that is on the apps on the device itself so this is the bottom of the device if you look at it, this properly there is one slot this slot is actually for this um um, TF card or micro SD card so we can put this TF card in here so that uh, it can uh, save the files locally um, but we can access um, through the apps uh, e-wheeling apps um, to to watch right or to play back whatever it's been saved in the um, the micro SD card right that's it i think um i've done review on this um please give thumbs up of and sub subscribe my channel if you have any comment on uh or, or any question on this camera what it can do or whatever it is just um, message or leave a message down below um right thank you very much for watching bye